radio how it's supposed to be heard. It's the Baker Boys Show. What's going on? This is Drip and Busy. Every f- day. Oh. 39 past the hour. It's the Baker Boys. We got him in here. Finally, the one and only Solo Lucci. Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? What's happening, man? I'm hey. doing good. Welcome to the show. We're going to welcome you the right way, though. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Come on. It's the Baker, baby. It's the Baker Boys everywhere now. Everywhere. It's the Baker Boys. Special guest for you. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. His name is Solo Lucci. Solo Lucci in the building. Yes, sir. What's up, man? What's that name? How you enjoying this rainy ass weather California, in man. California, man? Man, I woke up, so I'm blessed. Yes, yes you for are. For sure, for sure. Yes, you are, brother. Yes, sir. Originally from Fort Worth. Uh, yes, sir. Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. We big in Texas. We've been out there for a long, long time on our syndicated show, so shouts out to Texas, man. Tell me about moving from Texas to Atlanta and now California, man. Which one do you love more? Man, L.A., man, for sure. California is the vibe. It's You're more. here in L.A. now? Yeah, I live here. All right, now tell us about the Love & Hip Hop. Is that done? Is that over? Is it coming up? I, I'm not sure. No, I'm still on Love & Hip Hop. I signed for five seasons. I, I did two seasons. Uh, yeah. I just got a spinoff show called I Love Lucci. Congratulations. A dating show, you know, putting girls in the house and trying to let them date me and see, what, see how they go. I got a question for you, man. You're an MC. You're a rapper. You're an artist. We just read a story earlier about a club promoter that uh, would not let larger size women in the club and he blamed it on the artist that was performing at the club he said that future said no fat girls in the club yeah, yeah, yeah. you heard about that yeah okay no have you ever done that before no nah, i ain't gonna discriminate on big girls yeah man have i mean ever- i might not i might not prefer them sexually but friend, <laughs> but like, you know like in the club and friendship wise yeah. they, they're the coolest girl yeah they cool right uh have you ever discriminated against any female trying to get into the club no 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 what about I, the all the females can come they can all come okay cool we got solo Lucci in the studio with the Baker Boys. Thanks for coming through here right now. Eric V, you got something over there for him? I'm over here doing something. I, uh, I know Vita Plug wants to ask you some questions. Yeah, let's, let's talk about change. Like, there, you went through a lot of hurdles just to get to this point in your life. Correct. And t- let us talk, talk about where you started and, and how you surpass Man, everything. I, I started out in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, there ain't a lot of opportunity out there. Mm-hmm. So I kind of had to, you know, uh, make myself stand out, be mm-hmm. different from everybody else around me. Uh, like in 2011, I got shot. Yeah. Um, I went through all of that. You know, that's just some hood street. You know, it happened. Have like you that. been in a situation like that, or that was your first like wake up call? I'm from the streets. Yeah. Man. So that was just like a circumstance of being in the streets. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So and uh, I, after that, I moved to Atlanta. I got my buzz with my song Whip It in Atlanta. I had the help of like you know I had Ti behind me. That's my boy uh, Jock Jeezy. I've been knowing them, and um. Then I got the opportunity to be on Love & Hip Hop. I did the song with Chris Brown, Rich. That did pretty good. Mm-hmm. Then I came out here to do Love & Hip Hop with my girl at the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, that just put me on a whole nother platform. Let me ask you a question, man, because I've heard a lot of uh, couples and I've heard a lot of, um, yeah, just some bad relationships happen when when you start to get into this reality TV stuff. You know, it just kind of changes things. Big because, facts. Because you, gotta, you have a camera in front of you mm-hmm. and you might have some personal stuff that you might not want to air out on, on, on camera and things just get twisted up. Correct. So have you had an experience like this? Definitely. You know, I think that's kind of what was the downfall of my relationship. Wow. Uh, we was doing good. We was, you know, we got good vibes together. But uh, I think one of the biggest problems with reality TV is the fact that you got to deal with your problems twice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You'll deal with them in reality and then three months later when it airs, you got to re-explain yourself to the world just wow. so you won't make your partner look, you know, like an idiot. Crazy. And you won't make yourself, you know, lose lose face at the same time. Did you have any drawbacks? Did you have anything at first when they asked you to be a part of Love & Hip Hop or was it like, yeah, let's go? Did you have any kind of um, thought? At the time, I was in a, uh, at the time I was stuck in a bad record deal where I couldn't release music. So, mm. and it was like over 100000 a year for the show. I was like, yeah, I'm I gotta go- I'm it's going. I'm going. I'm going. going. Yeah. What about Pat? Because Young Jock was on Love & Hip Hop as well. Yeah. Did he give you any pointers? No. Uh, Nah, Jock didn't. The, first, the, the person I talked to the most about being on the show was uh, Jewels, because I was real close to Jewels. Right before I went on the show, I was like stand at his house in uh, New York working on him and Wayne's album. I can't feel my face, volume two. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I do a lot of writing for a lot of artists and just working with them. And uh, him and Kim Bella was the main one was trying to give because I had a girl, you know, at the time, me and right. Alexis. So. They were trying to give us pointers. So now that you don't have a girl anymore, what's going to happen? Now you're solo and you really solo Lucy. Yeah. Solo Lucci, for real. <laughs> Big face. <laughs> Damn. 43 out the hour. It's the Baker Boy Show. Uh, I got a question for you. Just recently, uh, Travis Scott deleted his Instagram of among, you know, there was rumors about him cheating and Kylie Jenner asked him to delete, delete his Instagram. 
How do you feel about that? No, no, no. Let me help you out with that question. Yeah. Okay, Kylie, billionaire. Broke girl, not so much. Let's see. His girl <laughs> did not have money. Your girlfriend did not have money. Would you do it? You know what I mean? Nah, listen. I mean, um, I, first of all, I was I, I, I was oblivious to that. I didn't, had no idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With, with, about nothing you just said. <laughs> but, uh, what, yeah, if you, I ain't if really your girl asked that. you to delete your, your Instagram because she was jealous. EMD, man. <laughs> Find out what it means. Yeah, EMD. I know what it means. Okay, so what? Did you delete your Instagram? It's another word for wiener. <laughs> so let me ask you, what do you look for in a woman? What you know? like me? I want what like me. You know what I'm saying? My daddy said, find something that like you, not something that you like, because they're going to try harder for you. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love Spanish women. That's like my, that's like my vice. That's the like weakness? Spend, that's my weakness. That's like the kryptonite. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, get it, let's get into the perfect solo luchi girl. Like, do you like, uh, is it a specific type of, uh, is it Mexican? Is never. It, never. Uh, you know, what's never. the specifics? You can't discriminate living in L.A., man. All these beautiful women, these beautiful ethnicities, <laughs> shapes and sizes and tones, skin tones, hair length. Look. <laughs> Look, see what I'm saying? You know, Latino women. They're, you they're, seen me in the club before. Yeah. I know you is, man. You know what's going the, on. The Latin women, they're very spicy. They're very hot. They're, they're like, they're, they're, there's good and bad. They got to come with well, it. Hey, what's that club I go to every Thursday Latin night, bro? I make sure I go with my boy Chris Alexander. Play, is it Playhouse? Playhouse. Oh, yeah. I'm in there. Macarena. I'm, Maca Maca yeah. I'm doing a salsa in that joke. Yes, oh, so you know how to salsa. And I'm trying to. Oh. If that's what she like, we're going to learn it. Oh, that's boy. what's up. Do the taco dance. Hey, but be careful, man. I heard that there's some uh, stuff going on with um, the Playhouse where there's some underage drinking up in there. You don't want to get caught up in that. Now. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a certified ID checker. I've been around. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to see I've been that. around Chris Brown too long. We got non disclosures <laughs> on point, on dick, at the house i'm taking your phones you signing this paperwork and i'm making sure that i'm safe wow i'm just telling you they're not going to put us on surviving solo luchi i'm just telling you right now <laughs> we ain't doing it uh -uh. they're not going to put me on we, it i got too many we, women we ain't going to be on the leaving playhouse uh, documentary coming out right. stuff like that so, you know so let's get into it man one of the biggest stars of our lifetime michael jackson this is huge news i'm sure everybody has been uh, influenced by michael at some point they just put out a documentary it's called leaving neverland and it basically talks about the boys that were set from the point they were seven years old being abused by Michael Jackson and their entire story. So, with that being said, what do you feel about Michael at uh, this point in time? I mean, you know, I'm not a big, I ain't big on people uh, insulting the integrity of a dead person. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And just yeah. kind of like bringing up that. I feel like if they was going to do all that, they should have definitely did it while he was alive because they're trying to tarnish his legacy at this point. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, I mean, I don't really respect that. And I don't respect nobody that's fooled with kids either. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So definitely, true. definitely if that's something he has done or was doing, I don't feel like that's right. But I feel like at this point, they waited too long to say something about it. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's what they say. It, on what video. I heard I heard it being brought up, you know, in the media before. But they didn't do all of this extra. You know what I'm saying? I feel like at this point, you know, the, to put his family through that and his close friends, because it's not their, it ain't their doings, it's his doings. And for him to not be there to take the repercussions of it, yeah. they just making the f responsibility fall on his family. And on, so on. we're saying there's no going to be no sleepovers at Michael's house or R. Kelly's house with your children? Oh, my kids ain't going around nobody. There you go. <laughs> yeah. nobody. That's, that's what I said. The, the, the responsibility lies on the parents. Of at the course. end of the day, it's up to them to not put their kids in those situations. No matter how big the star is, the person is, doesn't matter if Oprah Winfrey wants your kids to do a sleepover. And I got family it, members my kid can't go around. There you okay. go. Just because they kids bad, like, <laughs> Like, no, yeah. not gonna have my son acting like your little bad son. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. It's the Baker Boys. It's forty-seven after the hour. We have Solo Lucci in the studio. Let's introduce your record right now. Go ahead, go ahead and play this. There's record. a sample on here. Tell me about that. It's not a sample, first and foremost. <laughs> okay, it is me. It's re oh, you redid it. it. Yes, and we also replayed the beat. None okay. of it does a sample. All right. Um, and uh, actually, bro, I got the remix. I want to just. Let y'all know I got uh, Juvie on the remix. Oh. I got Manny on the remix. Hey now. I got Turk on the remix. Okay. And sh big shout out to Beanie Man. He just sent me his verse back two days ago. Oh. I got Beanie Man on the remix. When, I, when are we going to get that? When y'all start spinning this one enough. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Play that, Eric. Yo, 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 this solo loot to your baby mama, baby daddy. This is my brand new single on Dash Radio. Cash Money. Baker Boys. Man in the house, Dang. Solo Lucci, man. Yes, sir. He did, he did a live performance for us in the, yeah, he in the did, studio. Man. I had to get up out of my seat over here. Okay. I'm not sitting down no more. No, he thought, man. He thought he was at Playhouse. <laughs> Thursday, when I looked to my left, I did. I'm going to pull my phone out. Damn, Damn man. man.
<laughs> All right, so you from Dallas, Fort Worth, man. Who, I'm from who, Fort Worth. Who, okay, from Fort Worth. So who's your, who's your who's your do you follow any sports? Who's your teams, man? Cowboys, man. How about okay. the Cowboys. Oh, so no. I had to ask because I'm a Cowboys fan too, man. Yes, sir. So you know, but I struggle with my team because I hate our coach. What do yeah. you feel about that? Uh, man, I hated our quarterback for so long. Um, I didn't like Dak, man. I didn't think he had it. He just like was tim. It's just you know. I think this year he kind of. Showed me a little bit Kind of grew a little bit Yeah, yeah man Because he was weak as hell man And I didn't like him So uh, But also at the same token When, had, when Romo was the quarterback Everybody hated him But as soon as he left They, they realized how nah, actually I, good he was I always liked Romo you know, Real people from Texas Liked Romo You know yeah. what I'm saying uh, I think it was all the bad coach decision Change to taking days out That was weak Yeah that was uh, a bad way They handled that yeah. I, I agree with that Jason Witten uh, Retiring was hard But I'm glad he's coming back DeMarcus, he DeMarcus Ware coming back I was about yeah, to baby, talk y'all to you better look out for us How about them Cowboys I was about to talk to you About, about DeMarcus Ware Because he keeps putting These videos up Of him and Jason Witten Jason Witten's trying to Get him to come out of retirement He coming He, he announced it he already did? Yeah, yeah, he coming oh, back. Hell. He's coming okay. back. All right, all right. That, I'm excited about that. He's one of my favorite Cowboy players of all time, probably DeMarcus Ware. Yeah. What about basketball? Basketball, I'm a Bucks fan. I've been a Bucks fan for like mm. four, four years. Before everybody was on the bandwagon. Mm. Uh -huh. Can you I, shoot? Yeah. Can I what? Can you shoot? Oh, yeah, I whoop some. Oh, okay. She can play basketball, too. I can too. play, too. I was, go, I was a baller. Well, that's one-on-one. -on -one. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not scared. I ain't never met a Hispanic that could beat me hooping. <laughs> Ooh, <damn. laughs> Why? Because we all short, man? You're you saying? That's what you say it's Cholo Lucci? Man, we ain't all short, bro. I'm telling you, man. That'd be too full of tequila. I'll just go run right past you. <laughs> hey, before we let you go, man, uh, I want to talk about the album. Tell me about this new album coming out uh, very, very soon. You got a lot of features on this album, man. Uh, actually, I got zero features. Oh, okay. This is the old album then. Yeah, I right. put I put out a uh, so uh, the recipe is the title of my project that I'm putting out. Uh, and you know I've been writing for artists for a long time, doing art development stuff like that. So um, I've been an ingredient in a lot of people's success. Yeah, whether it's platinum albums, uh, singles, uh, uh, confidence, sauce. I, you know I've been a part of a lot of people. So I entitled it the recipe, and I want to give them all me, man. I'm a, I'm a big ingredient in the recipe of the game. That's right. Uh, is there anybody that you won't work with in hip hop or pop music or? Polka, polka uh, music? You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but, uh, I'm so probably not somebody in there. <laughs> so. We maybe get you. You love Hispanic women so much. Maybe get you on a Bandas record. You know, get you on a Latin. Ooh, cumbia. Cumbia. Go, yeah. Yeah. A cumbia would be nice. Cumbia. Wait, wait, wait. Reggaeton. Reggae, let, reggae. let me find something, Nick V. Let me see if I can. Can we get you to do something, man? I, I want to throw you over a cumbia beat real quick. If we can Ooh. do that. We're just going to kind of freestyle it right here, okay? Yeah, do it, so, Eric v. Can you do it? Oh, yeah. Solo, are you up for this? He can do it, man. Do He's an time. artist. Is it too early? Is, is it too early for you? Man, yeah. play the beat. Okay, Ooh, let me, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it right now. Hold on. I, I got to get it. My, my right. stuff's loading up, Nick V. Give me two seconds. Yeah, you got that old ass operating system over there. You know what? You know what? I want to update don't, that. Don't man. be talking about that, man. Don't Bro, be talking about that. It's an Apple computer for 84, man. D leave my computer Steve alone. Steve Jobs won his original Apple computer back. You know what? My my computer does its job. So <laughs> let's see if we can do something over there. I don't know. It might be too busy for you. Bring it up, man. My rules and crips all got along. They yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I said you like Latin women. Not, imagine it's Thursday night. It's a playhouse. Let's go. It's, 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 solo. Luchi. Solo con Luchi. 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 Is this El Luchador music? <laughs> like, what's going on? I, I can get Ray Mysterio in here. We might can put something together. All right, all right. Yeah, Let, he, let's get you. He, let's get you a regular beat, He man. looked at me crazy like, oh, I, I ain't doing this. Let's see oh, if you can mess man. with this one. Too fast, too slow. I can... Change it up a little bit. We need, we need you on something, brother. Here before we let you go. Let's try this one. We're just playing beats right now. I'm gonna give it. Uh. Oh, feeling good. Keeping it moving. Yeah, yeah. Solo, Gucci, in Spanish. <laughs> solo, solo. Okay, amigo. What is that? Yo, yo, okay. Come on, stars. <laughs> yeah, hey, I stacked up my pesos messing with my amigo. Hey, got my name on fuego and my chain frio. 
Hey, met the real of Mexico, got a burrito. He said, say, habla espanol, I told his ass poquito. He said, come with stars, ooh. I said, muy bien, yeah. Gracias, come with stars, I've been getting it in. He said, you policia. I said, no way, Jose. You policia. I said, no. Okay, let's get paid, ooh. He said, cuantos? I said, 20. He said, no comprendo, hey. I said, vete, no problemo. He said, un momento. I grab my fetty, let this other me go in his face and say, I got a esa merda. I'm like, orale, wait. Hey, yeah, my amigo, yeah, yeah. With my amigos, yeah, yeah. With my amigos, I'm on dash with my amigos, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, orale, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about orale, wait. You know more Spanish, Spanish than me, bro. <laughs> like for real. Mexican. You know more Spanish than both of us, bro. Turn up, like, man. Like for real. That was awesome. Solo Lucci. Y'all gonna put some respect on my name. For, for real. Y'all gonna put some respect on my name. All right. Yeah. So we, we're gonna respect. be looking forward for the remix. Uh, we're gonna be playing, of course, on Dash Radio. We're looking for that yeah. remix. You have Turk on there. You have Juvenile, and you have Manny Fresh on there. And Beanie, yes, sir. And Beanie, Beanie Man. Man. Beanie Man. Zagazao. Zagazao, man. Thanks for coming through here. I know we're our, our time is cut short, but you're always welcome to come back. Now you're in Los Angeles, brother. Yes, sir. Slide up in here. You know Vita Plug is here. She'd love to see you again. I'd love to see her too. Vita, <laughs> you can come be a contestant on the show. Oh, right. you're more than welcome. Yeah. Come on. Do it, Vita. Do, do it, Vita. You got to give me a turn. Do you it, know me. salsa? Yes. You got to yes. give me a little turn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ow! Okay. It's the Baker Boy Show. We love you. Have a beautiful, blessed day from us in Solo Lucci. Stream his stuff right about now. Look yeah, him up yeah. online. Follow him on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Gang, gang. Radio, how it's supposed to be heard. It's the Baker Boys Show. What's going on? This is Drippin' Every f- day. Oh, boy.